Megan Victoria. So today I am so excited to bring you this super sparkly fun festival makeup. Festivals are the best time to experiment with your makeup. Get super creative, get super glittery, get super crazy, and like nobody's gonna say anything and they're just gonna be like, girl you look like Tumblr, well done. So with that said, I wanna get straight into the video, but really quickly, this is in collaboration with Beauty by Paisley. She's another YouTuber and Instagram superstar and she is awesome, her makeup looks are amazing. So I'm gonna show you her little video right here. Dun dun dun, so nice, look at it. And if you'd like to see more of this, which you definitely should, go check out her video and her channel right after you finish watching this. That would be super awesome. So with that said, let's get started, let's get glittery, let's get glam, let's get going. Ugh. Alright, so let's get started with this festival makeup. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I've already like put like a little bit of a base on my eyes just with the concealer and powder. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of a rose gold like cream shadow just to start a little bit of a cream base on the eyes. So everything we do in this video is gonna be a lot of like powders and cream just because we want everything to really stick and last throughout like you know you're at a festival you're sweaty and you're gross what's the point um, so I'm gonna just apply that cream so once we've applied the cream we're gonna just start a little bit of like some transition shadows going on so I'm just gonna take some peach smoothie love of my life and I'm gonna apply that just super soft in the crease this is just gonna give us a nice transition shade for all our other shadows Alright, so I decided I don't want to talk, I want to do a voiceover now, so I'm just taking my sepia bronzer shade and I'm just going to work that right under the peach smoothie, just deepening the crease up a little bit, but we're more so just going for a nice bronzy look to the eye rather than so much like definition. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of cocoa bear and apply that to the outer corner and just blending that in, keeping it pretty controlled on the outer corner, again just to give the eye a little bit of structure. Then we're just going to blend all those shadows together and just make it a nice seamless blend all in the eyes. I'm keeping this tutorial not sped up for the first time ever just because I know you guys wanted me to slow down so you can really understand the techniques and the products being used. So with that said, we're just going to keep going. So I just keep blending everything, switching between the brushes and then as you can see I finish off with my peach smoothie brush just to really make sure everything is beautifully blended. Now I'm going to take my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to grab the color Glow Getter. I'm going to pack that on with a flat shader brush right on the lid to really give the lid like a really beautiful gold shimmer or like bronzy shimmer. Then I'm just going to blend those colors, the bronze, just to encapsulate the gold right on the eye. It's not even gold, it's like champagne-y, bronzy prettiness. It's just really pretty, right? So then I'm going to take this miscellaneous um, pigment, so whatever you have works, and just with a little bit of mixing medium, I'm going to put that on the eye just to really give that foiled, metallic look. So there's just that like extra bit of shimmer going on on the eye. And then again, we're just going to blend to just encapsulate all the shadows. So now I'm just going to tight line, not even tight line, I'm just going to do a super thin liner just on my upper lash line just to kind of coat the lashes. So when we open our eyes, because we're about to put white eyeliner, when we open our eyes, you just see full black. You don't see like a random white line kind of thing. So then I'm going to go over with a white winged liner. This I just used a cake liner. I'm not going to say I recommend this product. Um, I heard like NYX makes a good like white liquid liner. I just use kind of whatever I had. Um, this will be a mess if it's festival because it's like water like it'll die in the water basically so if you sweat it's gone so I just used it for the point of the video so I'm just applying this white winged line and then we're gonna just sharpen everything up clean it up and make sure we're happy with our wing then I'm gonna just put on some lashes and I go over the lashes just with a little bit of black liquid liner just to color in any white spots because white eyeliner can get everywhere and we just want to make sure the lash band is really nice and black so as you can see, I'm just like coloring it in just like that and just re go over that line just to give that separation between the white and the black. 
So then I just blend with a coat of mascara to clean everything up and then I really want to make sure this is dry because I don't want it to transfer when I go to work on my lower lash line. So once it's dry I'm going to grab my magenta shade from my Makeup Forever flash palette and I'm going to run that all under the lower lash line just as a cream base again so there's something for the shadows to stick to because like I said we're in the hot sun we want to make sure our makeup is bulletproof. So then I'm going to take my little yabby shadows and grab this little purple shade and I'm just going to really like smoke that um, purple out like make it really really thick this works if you're feeling tired um because you don't really need concealer if you just bring this purple all the way down so I'm just really gonna make sure I bring it right the way down really smoke it out and make it really really thick then I'm just gonna take a little bit of a pinky blush just to really continue the smoking out just to really like I said, bring it down because we are going to put glitter and I want the glitters to stick on really, really well. So I just went back and just resharpened the wing just because the purple kind of got in the way. And then I'm going to align my waterline with a little bit of blue from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. Just again, I wanted another little pop of color, something that you don't really like see right away, but it's kind of like cute and pretty. So once that's done, I'm just going to set that in place with a little blue shadow from my Yabby Palette again just to make sure that's set in place and it's not going anywhere. So, once we are done that, it is the fun part. I'm gonna just take a little bit of lash glue. If you have glitter glue, use that, but I literally just had lash glue. And then I'm gonna pat that on my under eyes and go on and stick the glitter right on top. This is gonna give us this like really pretty glitter follow, and it's nice if you kinda do a distressed makeup because your makeup gets distressed throughout the day regardless if you're at a festival, so this is just like, I did this on purpose. So then I, once I put the glitter on, I kind of wanted to like accentuate those inner corners, so I just kind of took the blue and I really like feathered it out, and then I packed on some more blue shadow to give myself this like blue inner corner, and I kind of just like messed around with it and made it like a little like distressed. I brought a little bit more purple in and I just smoked all those shadows around. Next I'm going to take this purple pigment, if you have like a purple eyeshadow that'll work, but it has a really beautiful iridescence to kind of work as like our blushy contour so I just whip that all around my face just like so on the beautiful cheekbones then I'm gonna take the color kitty cat from my Nicole palette and I'm gonna start highlighting and this just has a nice pink undertone to again play with these iridescence colors because everyone's really into like holographic makeup right now so I'm just gonna re bronzify myself just to make sure the bronzer is set in place and you know I keep that bronzy glow and then we're gonna take a little bit more kitty cat I'm gonna do my cupid's bow the tip of my nose and my little nose bridge so once we are content with the highlighting we're gonna move on to the lips so I start off with my BFF lip liner from ColourPop line that and then I top with Anastasia Beverly Hills milkshake liquid lip I go over with flitter by ColourPop to get that really beautiful gold orange iridescent shade and then lastly I go on with this no-name bonnebel gloss that I love and you guys see me use all the time I know it's a lot of lip products but just trust me I love mixing cool and warm tones and just making something beautiful so last but not least I want to grab the color um lit something I'll put it in the description bar but it's this really beautiful shade that has this beautiful blue iridescence and I wanted to add that to the look last but not least I'm gonna go in with just some rhinestones I love the Medusa piercing so freaking much and I just love to rock it whenever I go out so I put a little Medusa piercing little rhinestones underneath the eyes and I think that completes our look All ladies right, and guys, there we have it sorry if the lighting wasn't like the best it kind of kept cutting in and out like the pains of working with natural light but I really hope you enjoyed this look. I really hope you try it out. If you do, tag me on Instagram. I want to see if you guys recreate the looks. That would be so dope. So that is Megan Victoria X. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. And yeah, I'm going to put out so many more new fun videos. Oh, look, now the sun's coming. Okay, let's just take a moment for the highlight. The highlight. The highlight dough. All right, thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And make sure you go check out Paisley's channel. All right, that's all. Bye. Mwah.